Today's topic is about numerology of November and the importance of the ritual of 1111. It holds a special vibration number and a special meaning. So let's get on with it. Hi and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, as well as comment and share. I really appreciate your support. And also, if you enjoy makeup, I'm running a Christmas makeup giveaway on my other channel called Miriam Rose. So please subscribe to the other channel and be in the running for the giveaway. Now let's get on with it. November is always a special month because it holds the vibration of the number 11. In numerology, 11 is a master number associated with higher realms, divinity and spiritual awakenings. It also represents coming into complete alignment with your true and highest self. The number 11 is also our reminder that while we appear to be separate individuals, we are really all connected and part of a greater whole. This is seen in the number 1 repeated twice and the fact that when the digits are added together, 11 gives us two. We are one, but we are also one another. All of us collectively are the universe expressing ourselves as human. We are consciousness come to life. And while we all have our paths, we are also connected and on this journey together. 11 is also a number associated with the higher realms. Even the number 11 itself looks like two pillars or two portals between this world and the next. All through November we can tap into the higher vibrations and access divine realms with greater ease. We may find more progress through meditation, spending time in nature, journaling and focusing on gratitude. While all of November contains special number codes, I will get into some of the more special days. November 1. The numerology code of this day is 111, which also happens to be an angel number. 111 signifies that your guardian angels and spirit guides are by your side and sending beams of protection your way. When you see 111 regularly, it's a sign that you are receiving divine support and that your angels are looking out for you. It also indicates fated events or that what you are currently going through is part of your soul destiny. 111 increases our ability to manifest and to take things from our heart and mind and put them out into the world. The energies of 111 also guide us to connect and harmonize our mind, body and soul. Pause for a moment and feel what it's like to be inside your body. Ask yourself, what does my body need? and be still as you wait for the answer to arise. Then ask, what does my mind need? And once again, be still as you wait for an answer to arise. And finally, ask yourself, what does my soul need? And listen to what it shared with you. Listening is a powerful tool. So on this day in particular, be sure you are listening to both your inner and outer world. Who knows what messages and insights you may receive. November 11, the famous 1111, a special day for so many. This day holds the number code of 1111, which is a power number in astrology and also an angel number. If there is something you want to manifest or a wish you want to make, this is the day to set your intentions. 1111 heightens our ability to create and to leave an imprint on the tapestry that is all of life. It also indicates that we are in complete harmony 
and alignment with all of nature. From this state of alignment, it becomes easier for us to feel grounded and connected to our life here on Earth, but also to the magic and wisdom of higher realms. November 11 is also extremely powerful. It's a day for opening your heart and strengthening the energy of your heart field. If you're feeling blocked when it comes to matters of the heart, or if you are struggling to connect with your heart's desire, set an intention and ask your angels and guides to assist you in releasing any blocks that are no longer needed. Throughout the day, try to consciously keep your heart open and in vibration of love, understanding, forgiveness and compassion, especially towards yourself. If there is something you wish to draw in, manifest or create, this is also a powerful day for prayer, ritual work, but to also take action. Think of something you wish to create and draw into your life and then take three steps, even if they're small, to help you turn it into reality. 1111 Ritual Alternate days to do this ritual are November 1, 10, 28 and 29. Step 1 Begin free flow writing for 11 minutes about all the things that open your heart and bring you joy in your life. This can include things that currently bring you joy or things that you want to bring into your life in the future. When you are free flow writing, the idea is to keep writing without lifting the pen off the page. So allow yourself to write whatever in order to keep the pen moving. Step 2. Go through what you have written and highlight all the key activities or feeling words that stand out to you. These words or activities are going to provide you with clues as to where you need to be focusing your energy and time. Step 3. Choose three of the best feeling words or activities that resonate the most with you right now and then write them down on a separate piece of paper. Now place your hand over your heart and repeat for each. I give myself permission to feel or do, insert your feeling or activity, and I give myself permission to bring more of this energy into my life starting today. Step 4. Now close your eyes and visualize what your life will look like when you bring in all of this beautiful energy. See yourself achieving all that you want and feeling joyful and happy. Meditate on this for 11 minutes. Step 5. With your vision in mind, write a clear intention of what you want to manifest in your life. Try to succinctly capture what emotions, feelings and themes you want to bring into your life. And in one sentence, this will help you send a clear wish to the universe. Here are some examples. My intention moving forward is to bring more relaxed and peaceful energy into my life so I may feel aligned and connected with my higher self. Or my intention moving forward is to give myself permission to play and to feel young and youthful again. Or my intention moving forward is to listen and honor my intuition so I can advance further in my career and bring more abundance. Or my intention moving forward is to open my heart to new love and to share new memories with another. There is no right or wrong when it comes to your intention. Just try to phrase it in a positive way. Once you have your intention, keep it somewhere you can see it regularly or state it out loud a few times. Step 6. Place your hands in prayer position. Thank your spirit team and close with the affirmation, I am aligned. I am one. I am creating the life of my highest path where all my wishes are fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, if you have, please make sure to subscribe, also like, as well as comment and share. Let me know what you feel about this video and also whether you have done the ritual yourself and how you felt afterwards. Just before I go, if you would like long distance Reiki healing, please go down to the description box below and get my email address and email me your desire so that I can provide long distance Reiki healing for you. With absolute gratitude, love and light, cosmic kisses to everyone. Till next time, bye for now.